Hi there again and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I, you should know that I talk about everything having to do with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and his beautiful wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. My phone is not quite situated quite perfectly. Um, yeah, so Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and... Um, and sometimes the royal family, and um, and sometimes my my lawsuit against the British state and the British monarchy as well. So um, you get a lot of different things for the price of one admission. So if you're not yet a subscriber, this might be a good time to get in on the ground level, right? <laughs> anyway, my darling. So I hope you're well, whoever you are. I hope you're a fan. Um, I'm so raggedy today because I just, you know, I just threw this top on because I'm like, what am I, you know, it's always, what am I going to wear? You know, this is a very big headache, which is why I prefer now to just do like location videos, but today I couldn't pull it off. So, you know, as I said in the, in the video before this one, I'm sorry that I have to subject you to my face today, but, um, hopefully I will in my next video be able to take you out in Paris and, you know, have you look at other things rather than my face. <laughs> anyway, um, so in this video, I wanted to talk about this um, supposed peace treaty that uh, is, is supposedly in the works or being discussed between the Sussexes, Harry and Meghan, and the rest of the Windsors, you know. So apparently, I don't know where I read that. I don't want to say... It's the New York Post, um, but it could have been. It's some, some publication like that, that it's not the New York Times, um, one of those publications that had uh, an article today saying that someone close to the, the king, so that, I guess, could be his wife or whoever are the, the royal moles, um, according to Harry, the, the wife, uh, Camilla, sometimes is, but some, uh, someone uh, close to the king apparently has intimated that there is a possibility of some kind of olive branch being extended to Harry and Meghan in advance of the coronation um, so that they could come over to England and they could could talk with, with the family. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting if it's true. I mean, I think, what do I think? I mean, I'm of two schools of thought. Well, one school of thought. My ultimate school of thought is this is a family. And I mean, I think if I've learned nothing else in, in my not so tender years on this planet is that, you know, it's it's best to, to have a good relationship with your family or if not a good relationship to try to work out your problems with your family I mean look who's talking right look who's talking but I talk because of experience you know and I think that to the extent you can that you should work out your your problems with your family because your family is your family and really when push comes to shove I mean and you really really need help in this world try going to your friends and see what happens. In a lot of cases, your friends are not going to be there for you, but you always can go home to mom and dad, you see, and your sisters and your brother. They're going to somehow, except in very strange circumstances where, you know, like with Megan and her family, I mean, I don't know what happened there with her sister and her father. Something absolutely catastrophic happened there because... Usually when push comes to shove, I mean, it's your family, you know, because there's a saying that blood is thicker than water. And I have found that to be true for the most part, right? So with my family, you know, when when push came to shove, I mean, it's like mom and dad, you know, and my sisters and my brother, you know what I'm saying? So, voila. So for me, um, I, I am for that if they can find a way to to talk and to work things out however you know I don't know how to put this because yesterday I said I wouldn't go to the coronation and today 
I feel the same way and then I kind of I'm not so sure you know because you know I don't believe in having a toxic relationship with your family just to have a relationship with your family I believe that it's it's important to have a healthy relationship with your family and for all sides to be willing to work together on themselves and then work in concert with each other to create that healthy relationship. I don't believe in, you know, inserting yourself into a, a situation, even if it's a familial situation where there's just toxicity and there's hatred and there are people doing things that are not very family friendly, if you will. Um, I don't know if I'm being clear with that. It's kind of like, you know, if it's a situation where, okay, you're going over to England and you're going to talk, but there's still all this bile and this venom and people are still doing the same, they're after the same tricks and talking to the press about me and, you know, exaggerating things and lying about things and having the help believe that they can disrespect me or my wife um, with impunity or, you know, talking behind my back and snickering. Now, I, I can't, I can't advocate that. I can't advocate that for Harry and Megan. In a family, just like in a marriage or in a relationship or a friendship or any kind of human interrelation, there has to be, in my opinion, mutual respect. Mutual respect. This is very important. Otherwise, you keep your distance, right? You keep your distance. I mean, even if it's your family and you love this person and you wish them well and if push comes to shove and they came to you, you're there for them. I think that there are times when it's better to just keep your distance and let them keep their distance because I think that both sides have to want to have a healthy relationship with each other that is predicated on mutual respect in order for, you know, my kumbaya utopia to work. Because, yeah, I, I fully admit that on a certain level, you know, I, you know, I miss utopia over here. I mean, let's just all just love each other and hug each other and, and kiss each other and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, real life and the real world is not necessarily like that because, again, you have to have, it's, it's, it's all sides that have to be willing to to work at this healthy relationship, to compromise, to admit when they're wrong, and to, you know, it's one thing to say, well, you're wrong, and, and you admit it, but then you continue the behavior, right? So for me, it's not okay to tell me you're sorry, right? And then you turn right around and you do the same thing again, and you expect me to continue in this toxic relationship with you, while you harm me and then you tell me, oh, I'm sorry. At that point, for me, it's just words. And even if you're my family, I love you, but I'm going to keep my distance from you because I have to protect my own humanity. I am responsible for me and the human within this body of mine who needs my protection against the rest of the world, even if it's my family. So Yes, I, I'm all for a kiss and makeup session. Yes, I'm all for laugh therapy for the entire royal family. Yes, I want Harry and William to get back together. Yes, I want Kate and Megan to, you know, come together and have a talk as as women, as girls, and 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 reach some kind of truce where they can actually work together on, on some kind of project and and be an example for the rest of England and the, the, the world. But yes, I want Prince Charles to have a relationship with his son and his grandchildren, for God's sake. I want to see him holding his grandchildren and kissing them in public or whatever, or in private, but with pictures to the public. You know, yes, I want all of those things, ideally, but if it cannot be within the parameters of sort of a healthy, mutually respectful respectable, respected um, relationship that is predicated on mutual respect and where the past is really over because that's some I don't like this thing where 
you know, you have a problem, whether it's with a family member or a friend or whatever, you talk about it and you, you bury it, you think. And then for the next 50 years, <laughs> as soon as something happens, this person takes it and uses it as a sledgehammer against your forehead. I don't like this, right? So, <laughs> I need therapy. <laughs> you see, you're bringing off my own issues here. You're bringing off some issues here, like with this, with this topic, because this is very complicated, you know? And I mean, even if it's your family, and even if I want to say, yes, Harry and Megan, go to England, talk to your family. You know what will be really, really, well, no, they can't go to Montecito because Montecito is, is on the six feet of water at the moment. Okay. So Harry and Megan, okay. They go to England. Even if I would advocate that there has to be certain rules of engagement. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it has to be an honest talk. It has to be mutually respectful. Um, it has to be truthful, you know, um, it's not so much finger pointing as much as it is people admitting, you know what, I did do this and it, it was wrong, you know, and I'm sorry. And then the person to whom that apology is given accepts that apology in the spirit that it was given and they let it go, right? They don't continue to use it as a sledgehammer against each other into in, into perpetuity. I don't like that, you know? And, um, you know, I don't know. What, what, what the, what's the topic? What in the name of God am I talking about? Oh, I'm talking about the peace treaty between the Sussexes and the Windsors and whatever. I'm always for peace. But it has to be predicated on mutual respect. And justice, no justice, no peace, right? No justice, no peace. And that works in the family as it does in the, in the wider society. You don't come to me and impose peace on me while you, you kick me in the face and you spit at me and you treat me like garbage and you encourage others to do it. And then you come and like, oh, I'm so sorry. Let's have peace. No, 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 no. It has to be genuine. It has to be authentic. It has to, you have to mean what you say. And you mean what you say with your actions, not just your words, right? And then if that's true, then I have to let it go. If you're truly repentant and you have apologized to me, then the person who is apologized to must let it go. And then, and then they move on, right? Without using this as a sledgehammer into eternity. If they can do that, okay, fine. If not, stay away. Because I said yesterday, I wouldn't even go to the, the coronation. I mean, and I'm like kind of still kind of feeling that way that it's so distracting for the British people, you know, that they're all so, you know, crazy about this whole situation that just let Charles have his coronation with, with the rest of the family and I'm off to Bora Bora or we're in the Caribbean. There's a place in the Caribbean that is really cool. Megan went there one time. She did it on the TIG. Um, oh my goodness. It's, I think it's French. All the, the movie stars go there. Um, in the Caribbean, um, French Caribbean. I can't remember. But anyway, she go, they can go to one of those islands. And, you know, it's just, she needs to put in the waistline braids because I need to see how she looks in braids. I'm sure she's never worn braids. Weird, weird braids. <laughs> I'm sure she has never worn braids in her life, right? So Megan, Megan, Megan. Just braid your hair all the way down to your posterior, okay? Get the bikini, take your children, your husband, all right? And you go off to St. Bart's. You go to St. Bart's or to Bara Bara in Asia, wherever that is, and you let them have their coronation, even if you forgive each other, even if you forgive each other, because I think it's going to be so distracting, don't you? And, and Prince Charles is going to feel like you... No matter what you do, people are going to be interested in what, you, what you're what you wearing, how you look, what your face looks like, how your hand gestures. It's so distracting that that's all they're going to think about. And then everyone's going to hate you and Harry because they're going to say that you upstaged them. Don't go to the coronation. You can have your talk with the family anyway, but 
I would keep my distance from the coronation. You know what I mean? I'm rambling. Okay, that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs>